Hi, my name is Risa. Welcome to my first Facebook Live. I'm excited that you're here with me today. And, um, and I'm going to be, uh, I want to introduce myself. I'm the owner of Jewish Gift Place. It's a business that has been online for 10 years. In 2017, we'll mark the 10 year anniversary. So I'm very excited about spending the last 10 years um, shopping for handmade Judaica to present on my website. I love handmade items. I've always loved handmade items. I do arts and crafts all the time. So it's a, a love of mine and I'm happy to share that with you. I want to talk today about one of the most popular gifts that I sell at Jewish Gift Place and that's Jewish wedding gifts and specifically Jewish wedding glass. Jewish wedding glass um, has been a tradition for hundreds, if not thou thousands of, uh, about 2,000 years, and I'll talk about the origins of it. But in the past, like in my wedding, uh, almost 27 years ago, um, people would, the groom would crush a light bulb. You'd put a light bulb in a piece of cloth, the groom would stomp on it, it would make a loud sound, and people would shout out, Mazel Tov! But in the last five years or so, um, artists, like one of my prolific artists, Gary Rosenthal, uh, is making the broken wedding glass a memento and not just a light bulb but a very special piece of glass so i'm going to show off some broken wedding glass and then what the couple does is they save that broken wedding glass and they put it in a piece of judaica to save uh in their home as a wonderful reminder of of their wedding ceremony so i'm going to show off some broken wedding glass just to give you an idea of what it is and then I will get into 10 different interpretations of the meaning of the broken wedding glass. Jews and non-Jews alike might be at a Jewish wedding ceremony and wonder what is this joyous occasion? It's one of this joyous event. It's one of the most beloved traditions in a Jewish wedding ceremony. And um, so I'm going to share that to you. But first I'm going to show you what broken wedding glass is. This is a decorative broken wedding glass. This is in the color turquoise. It's made by Gary Rosenthal. It comes with a cloth, and I'm just going to show you other colors that broken wedding glass comes in. This is turquoise. Let's see. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is green. This is red broken wedding glass. Purple. And all the broken wedding glass that we sell comes in a pouch. And this is the most popular color, blue broken wedding glass, and it gets wrapped in the cloth, and the shards get saved in the bag. So first I'm going to talk about the beginnings of broken wedding glass. It first appears in the Talmud, uh, mentioned in the Talmud, and Mar, the son of Ravina, was having a wedding for his son, and he found that the guests were very joyful, very boisterous, so he took an expensive wedding goblet and crash, crushed it on the floor, which made shards of broken wedding glass. Um, he felt that the, his guests were overly joyful, um, and he feels like even in times of joy, people shouldn't get carried away because then you might forget yourself and it could lead to sin, and that you have to be mind, you have to temper your joy um, because of other sad things that exist. So that's the background of it, but there's been lots of spin on that interpretation and uh, lots of interesting uh, interpretations of the broken wedding glass. So I'm going to go through 10 of them with you now. The slideshow. A first interpretation is that it symbolizes the destruction of the ancient temple in Jerusalem in the first century. It is also a reminder uh, to temper our joy, because even during our most joyous times, life can be filled with sadness. And that is the first one, uh, and the most common one tied to the uh, ancient temple in Jerusalem. A second uh, interpretation also tied with the, uh, the temple is to recall the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem based on the verse, I shall elevate Jerusalem above my greatest joys. The third interpretation is the broken wedding glass symbolizes the Jewish couple's pledge to rebuild the temple of their own lives by building a Jewish home. A fourth interpretation is a mystical reason. Since the couple is surrounded by such joy, a negative force of judgment may be aroused against them, so the breaking of the glass deflects away this judgment and they emerge unscathed. 
A fifth interpretation is that it symbolizes the fragility of human relationships. Great care must be taken to maintain the bond of marriage. A sixth interpretation is that it symbolizes the permanence of marriage. Like broken glass will never return to a, its prior state, a married couple have entered into a new state together. Another interpretation is that the abundance of wedding shards represents the abundance of happiness that the newlyweds shall have in their lives. Number eight is that it is a reminder that life holds both joy and sorrow. As the couple stands under the chuppah in great happiness, their commitment must remain strong through good times and bad. Uh, the one that's sort of tongue in cheek is that it's the last time that the husband can put his foot down. And the last one, which is my favorite interpretation, is that it represents, uh, it's, it's a representation of the newly married couple breaking with their old lives and stepping forward into their new life together. So those are 10 different interpretations of it. It's subject to interpretation and people can inter come up with their own meaningful interpretations. It's a beautiful um, ceremony and it's a, something that people look forward to, especially when everyone, the prayers have been said, the rabbi says, I now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride, and then the groom steps on the glass and everyone shouts out Mazel Tov, which is a wonderful, uh, if you're caught up in the joy of it, it's a very exciting time. So I also wanted to show you some pieces made by Gary Rosenthal that hold the broken wedding glass. And the first one I'm going to show you is a sculpture. This sells for $90 by Gary Rosenthal, and it comes in two styles. This one uh, is plain on the front and back, but there's another one that says, Ani Lido Di Vido Di Li. And this is the biggest uh, piece that holds wedding glass. Open up the top, and you put the glass inside, and it can hold the entire contents of a broken wedding glass. Another absolutely adorable piece that sells for $35 is a love sculpture. It has a tube. And many people who see this on the website wonder how it works and they think that they have to mail the glass back to me to assemble it. But I just want to show you that this is a tube. It's covered with decorative foil. There's a cork. You spill out the glass that comes with it. Or you can mix it in with your own if you like the different colors. And then you just put it back into the piece. And it's a wonderful memento. It also comes in Hebrew. This spells Ahaba. And it has the tube to hold the broken wedding glass. On a larger scale, this is a large love sculpture. This sells for $80. And it also comes with personalization, which is an additional Personalization on glass is $45, or on brass, it's $30. But it's a wonderful um, memento to commemorate this special day, and it has the removable tube for the wedding glass. It also comes in Hebrew, Ahava, love. Gary Rosenthal has a huge selection of pieces that carry wedding glass. I'm going to show you a few more, but he makes sculptures, mezuzahs, candlesticks, menorahs, dreidels, um, and I don't think, uh, I think that covers it, and they're all beautiful, but I wanted to show off a couple of mezuzahs. This is a, um, a mezuzah that holds a broken wedding glass. Here's the tube in the front, and in the back is where the scroll goes, but this is beautiful. This is another mezuzah. It has a tiny window in the bottom to show the broken wedding glass. And there's a tube in here. You can see you put the glass in the bottom. And here is another mezuzah. One holds the broken wedding glass and one holds the scroll. So I hope you have enjoyed my first presentation today, my first Facebook Live on broken wedding glass. I look forward to bringing more of these presentations to you and for joining me today. I wanted to thank you. Visit my website, jewishgiftplace.com. Take 15% off any item through next Wednesday. Use coupon code FBL15. I have a huge selection of wedding gifts, bar mitzvah gifts. Hanukkah is coming up. I have jewelry, sculptures, candlesticks, and a whole assortment of Judaica 
specifically handmade Judaica. Also, I'd like you to, um, you could subscribe to this channel on Facebook, so you'll know when I'm having an upcoming Facebook Live. And also, I'd love it if you would join um, my newsletter. You could go to the website, jewishgiftplace.com. Uh, in the menu, you'll see a link to connect with us and to sign up for our newsletter. I get one out about once a week. I have a contest once a week right here on Facebook where you could win art prints or kippah or jewelry. And it's usually the contest is the beginning of a quote. You have to fill in the end of the quote and a winner is randomly chosen. So in the newsletter, I talk about contests. I put in quotes, new artists, new items. So uh, it's a great place to find out the latest about Jewish Gift Place. So thank you. Thank you very much for joining me here today. I look forward to doing more of these. And most importantly, I want to hear your feedback. What are you interested in learning more about? Uh, do you want to hear about uh, all the jewelry that I'm wearing is handmade by Jewish Gift Place artists? I have this gorgeous bracelet that I'll talk about another time, um, made by Classic Legacy. So hi, Catherine, if you're watching. And um, join me again next time. Uh, and leave comments. Bye.